Um, we're going to make a new pizza. It's going to be a folded over dough. I'm going to put vegetables on the inside, from the tomato sauce to the peppers to the shallots to the garlic. And, um, and then I'm going to put cheese over the top, mozzarella. As uh, I'm going to fold over the dough, and then I'm going to put mozzarella on the outside, and then I'm going to carve the pizza and dip it in tomato sauce like a calzone would be. But um, I'm going to give that a whiff, and I'm actually back, and uh, this recipe is going to feed me tonight. So I made some tomato sauce. I'm going to use my square pan, like usual. And I'm using a little lighter on a wheat flour. I um, threw the balance of my white flour, my gold medal white flour. I threw it into my 50-50 mixture of unbleached and whole wheat. So I kicked it up at the white flour. And uh, I made a tomato sauce. And... Uh, canola oil, no butter. I left the butter out. I may put the butter on the dough. I may paint the dough. And um, I'm going to use uh, peppers. First we're going to paint. I made a little paint here. This is basil tomato paste. Some water as a thickener. Some butter as a flavor. Black pepper and uh, the basil's been basting overnight. This was made yesterday. The basil's actually in there. The leaves are in there. I gotta pluck the leaves out. That's the paint for the dough. I may put butter underneath this. Then we have shallots. We've got some shallots and garlic that were sauteed in butter. So um, that's part of the vegetable. The other part of the vegetable is going to be bell pepper. I have both green and red bell pepper. These were steamed um, just alone with some um, uh, sage and oregano. And I got a little oil that I made from the tomato paste. While I was making the, the tomato paste, I was creating this red oil that um, I also use as a paint. I may just do the outer edge with this red oil, which is just tomato paste. It's, um, I used an abundance of oil. I sauteed the tomato paste with those, any seasonings, and then I ran it through a strainer, and I collected up my oil to, um, to just use on a crust, on an outer crust just to get that on there, make it show up. A lot of times you want to paint the outer crust. Mozzarella cheese. I have a, um, I have a one pound block. I have a one pound block of Sargento that uh, I got a great price on. Mozzarella, one pound. And we're going to carve that up. That's going to go on the outside. While well, the vegetables are on the inside, while well, the dough is folded over, then a bowl of sauce, a knife, and a fork. And, uh, and I've been at it for three, four days with the weight lifting. So. This and a couple of B-complex vitamins, and I think I'll be back in business. Okay. We got to get going. Okay, over here, uh, we've been building our dough. We've got a rest period on this. It's containing, it's got its yeast, it's got its sugar, it's got its salt, flour, it's got uh, um, sage and oregano, and, um, and it has risen. So uh, it hasn't quite doubled in size. So I'm going to turn the mixer on again. We're going to work that a little bit.
we've already uh, we, we've done our basic recipe in this and then we added a third cup of flour. I'm going to throw in another third cup of flour. Just try to bring that together. This mixer has a park position that you're supposed to use. Okay, so um, we're going to give this a rest period again. One more rest period. I could throw some coarse wheat in there. They could use it. But um, I think we're going to go for a little velvet dough on this. You know, we're going to... We're going to really slather on the tomato sauce. I think we're really going to just go with the velvety dough. You know, it's um, it's lighter. It's lighter in its wheat content. It's whole wheat content. And um, we're going to really slather this in tomato sauce. So uh, we're just going to go with that. Okay, back with the plastic wrap. We want that to rise one more time like another 10-20 minutes we'll be back okay we're back at it it's like 5.30 okay so this is the second rise or rest time you know it's rest time you want to give it rest time to allow that flour to uh, soak up all of those ingredients. We're going to move to the uh, breadboard. Start to build our crust. Okay, next we're looking to get the breadboard out and build a crust. We're going to have to pound some dry flour into that, work it, work it, and work it. Knead it, pound it. 